to move on to this part of the world. The UN's highest court has determined the UK should end its control of the Chagos Islands in the Indian Ocean. So we're talking uh, close to Mauritius. They claim they were forced to give up the islands, now a British overseas territory, in exchange for independence. The UK Foreign Office, they have responded to that court. They said this is an advisory opinion. This is not a judgment and the decision is not legally binding. The Mauritian Prime Minister instead says it's significant. The advisory opinion should mark the final point of the long-standing struggle for the completion of the decolonization of Mauritius and represent a crucial milestone in the elimination of all remnants of colonialism in Africa. Well, let's hear more from the BBC's Anna Holligan from The Hague where the case was heard. Well, as an advisory opinion, this one has been described as a blockbuster. And the Chagossians, two of them who were here, emerged from the court describing it as a fairy tale with their victory signs in the air. They said this was a sign that they could finally go home. The judge's opinion was damning. They accused the UK of acting unlawfully when the decision was made to separate Mauritius to give it its independence. And Mauritius agreed to allow Chagos to continue to be ruled by the UK, they said that decision wasn't fair because one of those groups was under the rule of the other and therefore it was the UK's responsibility to act fairly under international law to respect the territorial integrity and the people's right to self-determination as a basic human right. And instead, they use this decolonization process to essentially create a new colony on the Chagos archipelago. And this strategically important strip of land, of course, is currently occupied by a US military base. And at the end of their uh, hearing today, the judges pointed out quite poignantly that all UN member states were required to respect this advisory opinion delivered here in The Hague today.